All right, so in this video, I'm going to be finding the area of this rectangle. So what we are given here are the radiuses of these three circles. And notice how all these radiuses are the same, one centimeter, one centimeter, and one centimeter. So what we can tell about this is that the diameter of these is going to be two because if the radius is one, the diameter is two, meaning the other half is also going to be one centimeter. So I'm just going to write one for the other halves. And now from here, because of this, I can say that the distance from here is also going to be one centimeter because it doesn't matter where a circle starts from. It can start from any point at the end, but as soon as it comes to the center, that, that's going to be the radius. So if this is one centimeter, then that means from here to the end of this circle is also going to be one centimeter. And from here to the uh, center is going to be one centimeter, and then from here to the end is one centimeter. So if we add all of these up, we get one times four, which is equal to four, meaning the length from the top to the bottom of this is four. So we can safely say that the length of this is four centimeters. So now from here, I'm gonna change my color to blue. I'm going to make the ends blue and the middle red. So this actually forms a triangle from here to here. So we know that the length from the center over here to, to the center of this circle is one centimeter. And we also know that the length from here to here, this is going to equal 1 plus x squared is equal to 4 because the total of this is 4. So if 1 plus x squared is equal to 4, then this means that x squared is equal to 3 and x is equal to the square root of 3 meaning the length of the left-hand side is the square root of 3. So now knowing this, we can find the length of the hypotenuse here using the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So in this case, we can say that this side is a, so 1 squared is 1 plus the square root of 3 squared is 3, so I have 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, meaning, meaning is equal to x squared. So 4 is equal to x squared, meaning x is equal to 2. So the, the length of the hypotenuse is going to be 2. Now, knowing all of this, I can say that the length of this is going to be the square root of 3 plus this plus the length of the hypotenuse because that's going to be the length of this plus this. So the square root of 3 plus 2. Now all that's left to do to find the area of this rectangle is multiply these two sides. So the square root of 3 plus 2, let me clear all of this out. The square root of 3 plus 2 times 4 is equal to 4 root 3 plus 8 centimeters. So this is the area of this rectangle. 